People Talk, episode two, season two, right? Sure. Yeah, let's pretend that's correct. So, <laughs> that is correct. Uh, we're here with right. Corey Martinez. Hello, hello. This little guy right here. And uh, let's just little, go ahead and... The little guy. The little, little guy. guy. All right. The little guy. Sure. Here's how we started off. You want to... We can stand <laughs> up right now. <laughs> uh, let's choose backgrounds. So <laughs> okay. that's, a, we're, that's I'm right. actually getting that yeah. right. God, come on, really? Start off with a banger. <laughs> you like that clip job around the head? I did that. You did well. You yeah, did I good, did good. good. I did good. Let's see. Andrew White photography. <laughs> that goatee. And uh, <laughs> when you Google Decatur, Alabama, yeah. that's the prettiest yeah. photo that I comes up. I recognize this bridge. Yeah, that's Very a nice so. one. Yeah. I think we got seven, so that's Here number three. <laughs> uh, Look at that tough goon as, as hell. hell. <laughs> Hell's Angels. Hell's Angels. Yeah. <laughs> True outlook. Oh, God, more beard photos. Dude, that one's a mystic one, though. Is that a Cosman photo? I think it I looks like that. you are about to, like, climb some sort of summit or something I'm, like I'm that. I'm going to sell it. And is that the same beanie without the Red Bull logo? It might be. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. That's what, what it is today, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's life. <laughs> and then uh, Baby Tina is oh, Baby Nathan. Goodness, These are that. really not centered very well. This is from the... Uh, I found a folder called that, Le Levi's JPEGs. Levi's JPEGs. I, mean, a, I was going to say, drive. that's, that's yeah. got to be Barcelona. Yeah. yeah. And then the next one is... There we go. <laughs> also from that same trip. <laughs> what is that? I, yeah, the, I, what was happening there? I think Nathan was trying to swing his bike on that thing, and he just, like, lost control and panicked. <laughs> but the guy <laughs> eating the sandwich... Over That's your completely shoulder. random. That's amazing. Is yes. Amazing. <laughs> uh, this is the last one. Uh, uh, and then uh, just your butt, basically. Uh, so that one's not so. I mean, that's for the ladies. So that is for the ladies. They want to keep. You could do that. It could be awkward for me yeah, instead of. You just turn, just turn to your what left and just look at my ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, which one is it? Uh, I I think number one. Yeah. First, first we'll one. go to the first. one. <laughs> 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 it's pretty ridiculous, so yeah, I hope you ridiculous. All right, that's going to be great for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can stare at this the whole time. <laughs> Perfect, even better. Than, um, <laughs> so, thank you for being here. Yes, yeah, thank appreciate you. it. Thanks yeah. for having me. Um, you just came back from Northern California. Indeed I did, yes. Filming with Christian for an iTunes part. Yes, sir. And we're, we filmed this in the past, so the X Games parts just dropped today, too, and yep. you're already working on another section. And you've been kind of working on picking away at that one, right? Right. Yeah, the whole thing with uh, filming with Christian, it's basically, it started out just like a homey thing a few years ago. Mm -hmm. every, pretty much every winter, I try and escape Nashville and then make my way to the West Coast and post up out here and just kind of hang out with the homies and, and just feel productive because wintertime in Nashville is terrible. Yeah. So. That started happening for a couple years in a row, and then eventually it turned into something a little more where I had actual footage lined up and was like collecting and stacking. And then Christian had an opportunity to start working with iTunes, you know, possibly mm -hmm. to get something going. So it was like, hey, I'm working with Nathan and DeMarcus on this iTunes project. If you want to kind of like do something with that too, you're more than welcome. So it was like, let's start stacking. It's like, and then yeah, they, yesterday was <clears throat> yesterday was good. I mean, sorry, the weekend was good. Um, just coming back from NorCal yesterday because I was with Dennis, mm -hmm. and who was also working on a project with Christian, but for his own thing. Demolition. Yeah, yeah, Demolition Market uh, project. Caps Lock. Caps Lock. Love, love yep. the name. Love the name. Big Caps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big man. <laughs> Savage man. So, yeah, that was great. It was a good trip up there. It was, like, really motivating to be with him to do some stuff because I, I kind of was in a rut for a little while, just, like, traveling a lot and not really riding in between, like, trips and stuff like that to – getting the right mindset to like send myself down a handrail or a big gap or push myself, you know, out of my comfort zone. And so this weekend was a nice uh, little break back into that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What, uh, bef I forgot to queue up. We, I just pulled like three minutes of your, uh, 10 year video with United just as a oh, right. little, little oh, montage yeah. thing. We don't have to that touch, looks touch on Yeah. We don't have to touch on it too much, but um, just I fall, I mean, I fall down a lot. <laughs> I mean, I felt like this was the best summation of like. Obviously, we can't. It's like ten minutes long. I'll yeah, link yeah. it in the description. But it's it's a pretty amazing video that you could just actually like grab <laughs> those small bits and pieces of uh, of the of your entire span with the brand is is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. No. And plus, you're a video part writer, so this is like you know the That's the quintessential. Cool. This is the meat, basically. Yeah. So, um, we put it together. How far along are you with the the iTunes? 
I'd say I'm like, you know what I mean, 80% of the way. Okay. I think I want, I would personally, I want like one or two more bangers and then try and like uh, get some little tech rails and trick stuff. And so. is, I don't really, I, I think when Christian was on the show, he wasn't really working on this. Is it, are the sections gonna come out individually, like kind of a Nija Houston thing, or is it, a, is it gonna be a part? It's or is that a video still to it? be determined. Okay. Um, there's some, yeah, some stuff he's trying to sort out. So as of right now, it's just like, just working on an iTunes project, but yeah. yeah. It's a good chance it could be collaborated as in the one actual project. Cool. Yeah, so he's still sorting out the details. Cool. I guess there's some formatting issues, so between everyone's footage that they've been working on. They want like VX, SD footage, and he's filming in <laughs> exactly. 4K, and it's just like they don't. The old, the old classic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. So he, he just got it. He's, he's waiting to hear back from a friend about some stuff. So yeah, hopefully that turns into that because it'd be amazing to have all three into one project. Cool. Yeah. And, uh, does it, is that supposed to wrap up kind of at the end of the year? I, want, I would like to say Christian's kind of aiming towards the end of the year. So, which we'll, ideally I would like to do that too. Like, yeah. the, the sooner the better for me. Like, get it out and start on something new. So that's why you're moving to San Diego. <laughs> I mean, no, not ideally. But <laughs> I, 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 I want to make the transplant eventually. It's you know still up in the air. I got to go back home and sort out some details. Mm -hmm. But, but no, that will help you know, move forward with that project if I'm out here a lot more. Um, if it comes down to it, hopefully it's finished up by then, but if yeah. not, then yeah, definitely. I mean, Nathan's out here full time too, so that's like, <laughs> yep. that's obviously a huge motivator. He probably rode with him more than anybody else. When Obviously you're not, in, you're not, even if you live in San Diego, kind of like Nathan, you're not really in San Diego right. all that much. You're, yeah. you're definitely traveling a lot. But. Yeah. No, that was, that's the, the idea is to kind of get out here and just have this be, you know, my second home base, but then Nashville still be my base, you know, yeah. if I need to go back. But this would be pretty much where I'm going to be. And, do you still own a house in Decatur too? No, gosh, thank goodness. I, oh, okay. I sold that thing like seven months ago, eight months ago. Only seven months ago, yeah, you had that. Dude. Oh wow, it was I, on the market. Like it was on the market like... for a full year. Oh, so, wow. oh yeah, so actually coming up, yeah, seven eight months ago. Yeah. Okay, but you still have the house in Nashville. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, well, I'm, crazy, I'm good right? with that one. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, like trying keep to keep that, that maintain yeah. it. Yeah. Home's home <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah, Plus, you then, built a, a quarter pipe in the front yard, so that doesn't really work out yeah. too well. When you're to... <laughs> Actually, I built it where you can rip it all out, and then you couldn't even tell it's there. Oh, really? Yeah, I just laid like this, like concrete board, like backer board stuff around. So you pull it out, yank it up with like a tow hook or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and there's yeah. nothing there. You won't even be able to tell. So <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah. So, but the the San Diego move is like <clears throat> an, a a, po a a more than likely reality. It, it, it really. You're, you're kind of downplaying it right now, but I feel like it's actually going to happen. Dude, surprisingly enough, I never would. I thought I'd it, say that myself because yeah. years ago I was like, oh, I like California. I like visiting, yeah. but I could never live there. Yeah. But here recently I've been coming out so much. It's like oh, a little bit more comfortable each time I come. Yeah. Like I'm all my friends I'm with. And then like we said earlier, Nathan's out here already. You know, he kind of did the transplant a few years ago, kind of, you know, tested it out. Then he went back to Nashville. <clears throat> and then here recently he made the move, I think right before Christmas. And he hasn't been back since. And yeah. I've been kind of bouncing back and forth too. So it's like, man. One of my best friends is out here riding all the time. Like we we, we vibe off each other. The San, the San Diego, like the LA scene, is really good, but the San Diego scene is so crazy. Yeah. It really is like nuts. Like yeah. when you think about not being somewhere else, like for me, it's like, you know, I have my own decisions to right, make right, in the future right. too. But like, it's so hard to actually leave San Diego once you're here. All the new parks, all the new riders, yeah. I everybody's out all the time. Like it's it's like, if you. You know, if you're chill with everybody, it's impossible to not yeah, go you're ride with people. Ride you know, or have like, a good time. Like, yeah. you're going to find something to get into no matter yeah. what. And I think just I literally me, stalk Instagram story and be like, all right, I'm texting. <laughs> you know? Like, They're out and about. All yeah, right, let's go. Yeah, so. Yeah, I just, and I, I really do. I need a change of pace. Uh, Nashville's fun. It's my home. Um, love my friends and family there. But I think just at this point in my life, I'm ready for a change. Yeah. You know? That's cool. And so, yeah, San Diego might be the new spot. I'd be yeah. psyched. I'd be psyched too. <laughs> yeah. So I'd love to be around in the scene more. Like every time I'm out here on the West Coast, I enjoy it. Like yeah. never a bad time, you know. It's, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. I don't know. How old are you? Thirty-five. Damn. <laughs> Halfway through level three. <laughs> yeah, getting there. But you made it thirty. I mean, you've been a pro for seventeen years now. I'm guessing. I don't 2001, know. Two thousand one, February. Two thousand one. That damn. That was really good. seventeen years. That's all exactly on yeah. point. All right. Uh, that was actually, I'm you did impressed. did research. Yeah. No, I didn't. I actually didn't. I didn't. You just like me that much. Yeah, I, just, I know all about you. Yeah. Um, 17 years without moving to California, which is yeah. like kind of a, a, a 
pilgrimage of of being a pro is like yeah, I gotta move, gotta to, move LA to where it's yeah, you yeah, know like out. and it's like you did it that long and now yeah now some, going, somehow so. you know maintain and balance that out like I, you know then again I, I also had you know a kind of I was married for almost eight years yeah. or so like that was yeah. like my home I'd like established that I was like I was settled there instead of yeah I think if that didn't if that didn't go that way then this wouldn't be would have probably yeah. more likely happened earlier yeah, yeah for sure oh okay yeah right. that, if you know what yeah, I mean yeah. if that was a okay. lifestyle that All wasn't right. chosen so but yeah, since that was it, like I, I made it work. I had the balance of just traveling from Alabama and then all the stuff, and then Nashville with all the trips. So, all right. yeah. And what happened to your hand? Gosh, oh, it looks <laughs> looks like an alligator <laughs> back skin. Yeah, I don't, it's terrible. <laughs> Basically, ended up coming on, on the no no uh, on the no, <laughs> he's stuttering already <laughs> on the NorCal trip yesterday. Coming back home, we made a stop in Santa Cruz, and. You met up with Alan Cook? Yeah, who actually, like we were talking about the trip. Oh, this was a separate thing, actually, yeah. But randomly enough, talking about that trip, what we were doing before about the video parts, mm -hmm. and I was like, I haven't seen or talked about Alan Cook in ages. Yeah. And then they told me, oh, we're going to go meet up with Alan Cook to go ride mountain bikes in Santa Cruz. Like, no way. Yeah, yeah. And so I like, took a photo with him yesterday and like, looked at the, 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 the interview we had together. I was 17, he was 18. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. The inter because in, that was for the people that don't know, you, you, ride back in the day. Maybe I'll have the dude splice <laughs> in something. But it was it Probably was like a sp it was full two full interviews in there, and it was you and Alan. It Cook. It was a split interview with Alan Cook. Me and Alan Cook, which oh, that you guys together? Yeah, in which that photo with the, the goatee looks really like, similar. Similar. Yeah, that to was who like that natural, was. You're making there. fun of it there, yeah, but that yeah, was yeah. actually real I, back then. I'm bringing it back <laughs> yeah. right here. Yeah, that was the uh, the tail up over the road cover, right? Uh, the nothing. He had the nothing over the road. The nothing over yeah. the road. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I was the. Yeah, that's the crazy. I forgot about that whole connection. And, yeah. yeah. All that, and that's when I first met Van. Uh, first met Bob Sherbo and Alan Cook. I was like, yeah, the rookie, new boy on the block. Mm -hmm. And then first time shooting photos with Ford Lowe's. driving. No, second, Ford, second dri time. Ford driving Alabama boy. <laughs> yeah. The red man. <laughs> um. So the mountain, sorry, I got, we got to Oh gosh, yeah. So mountain track. biking, so you rode on these, um, for Dude. people that don't know what mountain bikes are, they, they're like these really big tires and like <laughs> spongy things to go down. Big boy bikes, yeah. yeah. And uh, this is my first time actually taking a dive into it. I've, I've messed around. No rode pun intended. With, right. Yeah. <laughs> dove, dove into it, literally. Um, I've ridden like wheelies on the streets and stuff like that, yeah, messed yeah, around like yeah. here and there in some ditches and whatnot, but... Uh, they told me we we're gonna go ride mountain bikes, and Dennis and Christian is all about it. It's like, dude, yeah. you're gonna have so much fun because I see it on their stories. Every time they go to NorCal, they're having a blast. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, they took Nathan, they took Brad, yeah. and I was like, watching. I'm so jealous. Like, I want. Brad jumped it. like a 40 foot jump or something. Right, like that, right, right. Yeah. No, he, he yeah. killed it. All those guys killed him. And so I'm like excited. I'm stoked. Yeah, let's do this. I'm ready for it. And then all of a sudden, we end up at the top of this hill, and we're coming through trees like down this mountain, like 30 <laughs> miles an hour, bobbing and weaving between like like all these roots and stuff and rocks and then made it like the first trip down okay and then we hiked back up this other side and then we all went down another section and then I just kind of got a little too juiced and then was going too fast in this rocky area and <laughs> you know I'm bouncing around <laughs> feet hanging off oh dude I'm going like, like one this. of the long ones yeah, like, like you're this, like yeah dude. you're gonna fall it's just I, I, you know it's fall. coming yeah, yeah. Oh. and so finally like I just like I try to do naturally like you know like jumping out of nose really, like toss the bars through yeah. the leg you know spread eagle ah. and um uh, yeah it didn't work so I got hung <laughs> up and it just tangled up in the bike the bars went 90 degrees and then yeah, you can see the hand so I'm just like sliding around OTB I was it was terrible, but yeah, it was a good time. Do you have pad, like you have pads on or anything? No. no, I had a helmet on. Helmet, yeah. I had a helmet on, yeah. you know, so That's good. all you guys can be cycling that, I guess. So, so yeah. That was good. Now, which which I would wear the helmet on that stuff. Like anything I know I'm not comfortable with, yeah, I guarantee I'm going to have a helmet on. Yeah. You know? Accidents happen, you know, with anything, but that for sure, I was like, all right, going to do that. Which was still fun. Like me and Dennis, like Dennis had never done that either, like the trail riding. Mm -hmm. So he kind of took a step back, and so I was caboosing. I was riding behind him, just like, all right, because if he's chill on this, and I can kind of keep up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's still his first trail ride, too. In my mind, I was thinking we were going to jump some jumps. Yeah, You yeah. know, like, doing some cool yeah, stuff, like yeah. what I've seen everybody else doing. That was not like that. We're pedaling, like, 30 minutes up this mountain in the lowest gear, like, and you're barely going anywhere. <laughs> Hamster wheel Dude, status. Yeah. Uh, so Dennis wasn't too fond of that either. <laughs> he was so hating life. <laughs> he almost passed out one time. Like he's like, 
he started veering off the trail. I was like, whoa, we're losing him. He, he literally like, like had to straighten up and get back on the trail. He's like, I'm going to take a nap or something. I've lit- I just can't do the mountain bike thing. It's, it's, I, 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 I just have one bike my entire life. Yeah. Like, I don't need... I, I was never a big fan of it. I've always like been curious and then, not going to lie, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. But I will probably never get back on a trail like that again. Yeah, yeah. Put me on the jumps. Put me like somewhere, yeah, jumping stuff. You know the yeah, slopes yeah. where there's like some cool little bridges and that. Like that's my stuff. I can yeah. do that. Yeah. When it comes to the trail, that's just too gnarly. Like the stuff is gnarly. I, I, gnarly I have now. a whole new level of respect for those guys that do the trail riding stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I had a good time. I like mountain bikes. I can't say I won't have one in the next you know six months or so. <laughs> Especially being out in San Diego yeah, with Christian, Christian and everybody yeah, like. Christian. Yeah, Nathan, Grind, Nathan grinding have the mountain one. bikes. Dennis will have one. We'll have the whole SD yeah, squad. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway, your boy went down. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna be riding BMX for. How a many clips days. did you get in Norco? Actually, I was stoked. I came up on three separate clips. Yeah. And you're unscathed, and then. And then what? And then the mountain bike takes you. Yeah, off. yeah, that was at the end of the trip. So. <laughs> all right. Got got all the BMX stuff taken care of, and then I ate shit on the. So the, the, the real BMX stuff came out today, so we're we're banking a couple of these yeah. before they come out. Day so it's a little bit old, a little bit old by the time people will see this. But the stuff yeah. dropped today, literally, and uh, <clears throat> I get to at least we get to talk about the fact that you yeah. beat all those motherfuckers <laughs> and you got gold somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I, I, I had a great time with this as well. It's, it was a surprise to actually... Uh, can we, uh, Scott, can we play the real BMX section? Real BMX. Um, so, obviously, Peter Adam, uh, two in a row, two goals. Yeah, yeah. So, this is uh, two Pete, two Peter. Two Peter, <laughs> two Peter. <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, the mon- Obviously, the intro montage is amazing. Like, like that it really does sum you up fairly well of... <laughs> You know, just being around for so long and kind of seeing, you know, even like going through photos on Google, it was like, there's just a, such a range of photos of you. Gosh, and like, I, it seems it's like a timeline. Seemed, of, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, so just like where, all the where, where you started out, where you were raised <laughs> and just being a product of your environment and just your, your trip through it. But, um, I mean, you fucking kill. It, it was crazy. We watched it. Uh, Jeff, Zach and I all, all, all watched all five sections all morning, or six yeah. sections today. Yeah. And, uh. The bottom three, it was like two different categories. Like no offense to anybody, but like the bottom three sections were were good, of course. But then the top three, like you, Colin, and Brad, man, mm. like it, it was a hard call between which ones were. That's that's guy. Like I was talking to a lot of the people. I was like, I would hate to be a judge with any yeah. of this. And, you know, clearly, like I'm friends with pretty much everyone that was up against this as well. But like, man, judging that stuff would have been the toughest thing ever. Yeah. You know, like nitpicking down to the tiniest little thing. You know, which is what a few like people like fi- finding the problem in something when exactly. there really when isn't you a appreciate problem. everything yeah. about it. Yeah. But then you actually have to find something wrong to be able to have a negative towards someone else. Yeah. You know? So obviously, talking about the banger, it goes back to square one days. Right? SQ01. Yeah. So Chris was Bennett. that was. It's chicken or egg style thing, I guess. Was it was it like, oh, you wanted to re- replicate that, and then so you came up with the intro, so, or you came up with the intro, and then you wanted to replicate that. So we go back on that a little bit. That was like that's that's Pete's that's Pete's masterminding yeah. right there. Like Pete kind of had the idea of like, let's go back and like try and do something with you, the old footage or something like that. He had the idea of like making. You guys kind of did that for Still United, or what? Am, I'm blanking on the name. Similar, yeah, 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 yeah. similar, kind of a, yeah. Still United. Um, thing, yeah. He he kind of played back into that just a little bit, but mostly yeah. just. The intro parts of the songs, yeah. you know what I mean? Of yeah. each video part I've had, just kind of Layla. recapping yeah. of all the video parts I've had, you know, showing, whatever. Um, so, yeah, he's always kind of been good at that, putting something together. And yeah. His idea was, like, let's just do this to where we follow up on old Corey. Mm-hmm. And then once we started going down that road, it just spiraled into this thing. It's like, all right, we need to find this kit. We need to find this bike. And then I called up some friends in Alabama. So me and Pete went to Alabama, mm-hmm. and I just modified this whole old school GT bump. And like I Put went the to chain wallet went on. To, well, I borrowed that from my roommate because <laughs> he's like this biker outlaw. Dude oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he had he had the the chain wallet. So I was like, all right, let me kind of borrow that for this little project I'm working on. Went to Alabama thrift store, found the camo pants. Went to Walmart, <laughs> bought the white beard, just like I would have yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. 13 years old. Yeah. You know? um, so yeah, I ended up getting the whole kit. And then it just kind of spiraled into that what it was like it just worked. Like yeah. We went back to all the old spots in um, Alabama that I used to ride, got the old footage, and then well, the, to make it look old, Pete did all that. Yeah. But like went back to all these spots to make it, you know, authentic. It was like all right, old Corey, Alabama footage. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> so did that and 
got pretty much all the way to the end and needed like a couple more bangers and it was like crunch time yeah and i could tell pete's a little stressed and i'm stressing too you know um and then i was like dude I, I gotta have a break trick. I was like, this one break trick would tie off. It would cap everything yeah, yeah, off yeah. of this whole yeah. project idea that we have. And um, it's like I got the rail set up in, in Nashville, so he booked a ticket to Nashville, and then that was it. Like just one clip. That's one clip. I tried yeah. to get a couple yeah. things, but just couldn't come through with it. But the and one he flew off for that one clip. Pretty yeah, much, yeah. that was like yeah. to, to cap it off. The, we needed a banger of some sort, you know. Yeah. Um, we knew that it was going to possibly be the Barcelona like seawalls pegs. If, if we that was didn't what get, I was, was going to talk about next. If we, like, if we didn't a, get that, that's that was, a that's a spot that a <laughs> million people have ridden, and I never have once thought about that trick there. It's Dude. like it, it's not. It's like doing a downside double peg on like mega ramp or something <laughs> like that. Like yeah. like. It'd be, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like downside pegs has always been one of my favorite tricks, you know, and it came that you don't do very often. I not, I used to like yeah. it was just ramps yeah. and stuff, but anymore, like, uh, yeah. But that was the whole thing about Barcelona, man. That was the hardest thing being there and like, trying to be creative with like iconic spots, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. that you know about, but like what has been done and what hasn't. Yeah. So luckily we had Simone in town for that. Like most of the time, he's like, "Hey, what about this and that? And has anybody done that?" And so. We were able to sort out some details like that, but yeah, man, came to the sea wall. Like, did he, did I, it, but to be honest, like before I even flew to Barcelona a month before, I was like, this was just going and recapping the back of my head. I was like, I know you could do it. You've got to be able to downside peg that thing. Yeah. So you have to. You and know? you slid it too, it looked like, right? I, and it that was, like, I didn't want because it, but to stall. It's like, but it's like, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I waxed it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> made sure. I was to, like, yeah. Even though, you know, it, it, it's beveled and it has, like, the, the, the humps in it, mm-hmm. whatever. Like, I wax it up just because I didn't want to get hung up at oh, all. Yeah, yeah, hell no. So, being yeah, that commi- was a, that being was a committed scary going one. back into that thing and catching an edge or something like yeah, that. I had to jump cool. off a few times for sure. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, which sucked. Like, it's pretty much jump, land halfway down, run out, and just, like, tumble down yeah. at the bottom. But luckily I got it and then no big injuries or anything. What? A, how hard? I feel like it's harder to film like a minute and a half section than dude it else. was a lot of pressure like for me but you like, said you were kind of short on clips almost dude, at a point was, so yeah deadline like yeah yeah we needed <clears throat> at least one or two things still one or two clips to f- cap it off mm-hmm. and so i was like oh well, I, I got a couple ideas and then i was like one is a possible ender banger and then some ideas are just fillers you know yeah. so i was like roll the dice and see which one out of the <laughs> out of the six sections which one was your favorite? Which one? You know, I know you're not going to be modest. No, I, I know I, you're going to be I'm modest and up, say like, and say up, like, uh, like no, straight up like Brad Sims, like yeah. his his section. Like, I think Christian did a perfect job. Pr- like a perfect job of creating who Brad Sims is as a person, you know what I mean? Yeah. For a video part and traveler and just what he's capable of, you know, cause Brad's a beast, you yeah. know, and he's never had a real opportunity to film a one legit project like this. Yeah. And I think Christian did a perfect um, job capturing all that, the moments, you know, his lifestyle and stuff like that. And so it, of, that as, one, as that a Brad Sims video like, section, this is one of my favorite Brad Sims part yeah, ever yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. It's definitely good to see Brad get some shine time. Especially, and, it's, it's just, I mean, it, I don't know. It's a whole other subject, but it's like Brad just spent so many fucking years in Croatia or, yeah. or Uzbekistan or something. You know, like all Part over the place. So it's like he was just gone for a little bit. People didn't see him enough, yeah. you know? So it's cool that like Stu Johnson, yeah. who is basically in charge Give of picking him. the riders. Yeah chose him you know like he's been doing a good job of picking people in my opinion you know giving the dude giving the dude some time to shine it was cool too for me like i you know we talked about filming with christian for the itunes project i had already planned that to come out to california it was like i think in january uh no yeah i think late january going into february and uh and uh so i'd already planned to come out here and film with christian but then also brad had already started to plan coming out to film with Christian for the X Games Well, stuff. you didn't come out to plan with, film with Christian. Oh, came yeah, out to film right. with Navaz. <laughs> that's right. And that didn't really work out. Yeah, that didn't. So, <laughs> back up, last minute planning. Christian Which makes in. it even gnarlier because of, because yeah. because Brad wasn't supposed to film with Christian. He was supposed to film it, with Navaz. Navaz never, yeah. never showed up. Right. 
and which is insane. There, which to is me, there's no response or anything. On Navaz is either. yeah, I love Navaz, but he did the same thing to us yeah. at a point. So that's just his mo. So uh, sorry to put Navaz on blast, yeah. but I don't think he really give a fuck probably, anymore. Yeah, so he would, he would. yeah, so he, uh, he would, he could probably Brad was basically him. floating out here for a couple of weeks, like trying to decide who his filmer would right. be before he decided on Christian because Ennis is out here. I think uh, I think there's Dobie still was, a few yeah, potential there filmers. Was still a, yeah. There still a Kramus in the building yeah. too. You know when I talked to him, so he actually had his choice of filmers so yeah. but he lost like a month i think yeah yeah, yeah. So. He, he had a late start too yeah. for sure um and so i guess it was towards I, I can't remember which part of february or when it was but i was out here when he was filming for that and i was filming with christian so that was cool to see chris uh, that was cool to see brad like actually go in for something mm-hmm. in the first time and i was here to see a lot of that which was weird we, we joked about it oh you get to see what i'm doing you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah. This and that, and it's like. And he would say he'd be dead. He'd be like, he'd be like, I can't tell if you're fucking with me right now. Like, but like, I was like, don't worry, like, just relax. You know what I mean? Just ride. Like, I'm here to motivate and like support. You know what I mean? Like, like that's where homies. Like, I'm not gonna care what what trick you're doing or this or that and try and go one up this. And he he knows that. Yeah. yeah. And so like it was cool to be there to support him through that and see what he went through. But then when it came time for me to go to Barcelona, because Pete and I had already only had one trip under our belt, which Mm -hmm. was like almost two weeks in Nashville, which went completely terrible for me god that was if that was the start of this filming project for the x game i was like dude i got a long road ahead of me yeah because i just tried a bunch of things and i took a couple good slams and i was like i can't get hurt on this project like this is one of the coolest opportunities i've ever had yeah and i was like no health insurance nothing you like i'm like i can't get hurt in the beginning of this right now and so i took one big slam on this backwards rail and i kind of slowed down a little bit and I got one or two clips uh, that I was really psyched on the the 180 over pegs to manual 180. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that was one of the ones. It's like, uh, all right, is this was worth you coming to Nashville for? Pete. Yeah. That yeah. and then the intro because we shot all that in Alabama. Yeah. So that's the only reason like Pete was in Nashville to kind of get some of that stuff. So it worked out. But as far as like getting clips that I was stoked on, it didn't go so well. Like only the one or two things. So that was a rough trip. So coming out here, seeing what Brad had to go through to get involved for this X Games with a late start, I mm-hmm. knew like what I was looking for. And the battles yeah, I'm sure exactly. you used to witness. Oh my God, I saw all that, yeah. yeah. Which was cool. It was, it was motivating and inspiring. I was like, once came my time, I was like, all right, I know what I got put in now. Yeah, yeah. And so the next time uh, Peter and I had went to Barcelona, it was like, look, I the way I ride is kind of more of like, the setup type rider. I love just different being creative on, on cool setups. Mm-hmm. And so Barcelona obviously is the Mecca for that. You yeah. know, like everyone wants to go there to ride cool stuff. So we had already decided on that, like a few months <clears throat> into it. It's like, we have to try and see, plus the weather is going to be somewhat. All right. Everyone's going to be in California most likely. So we don't want to double up on spots and yada, mm-hmm. yada. And, um, so we ended up booking that and like going back into that is like the whole month before I was just kept thinking about the downside pegs. Like, that's the one thing I want to do when I go there. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. Like, luckily, I'm, I'm stoked that that worked out. So I wanted to Save it for the last day or first day? Um, actually, I tried it on the first day. Oh, really? Yeah, I was just wanting to get it over <laughs> with. <laughs> the first full Beast. day of filming, I was like, let's just do this. Like, I was motivated, you yeah, know, yeah, like, just yeah, coming in to see it. what Brad was doing and everything. And I was like, all right, I want to try this. And I tried it, it didn't work out. It was several times, I kind of like had to run down the bank and crash a bunch. And then by the time I got back to doing it, the sun was like behind me. So it was like riding, riding nice, to the sun. It was yeah. terrible. And so I kind of had to go to Pete and ask, like, dude, I'm sorry. Do you mind if we come back? He and do probably this? didn't mind because of the shot probably wasn't, if it was behind, and then it probably was Well, he, he understood that. Too. He didn't yeah. want me to, you know, risk yeah. me getting hurt. But yeah. then I also threw in, it's like, you know, uh, Wes McGrath is going to be around after Simple Session. So we'll actually have a photographer. And it's like, this is. For me, it's pretty epic. I would like to document this with an f- actual photo, yeah, you know, yeah, too, yeah. if we can. Yeah. So uh, he's like, "Yeah, let's just wait." And so, like a week later, we went back and like, oh, cool. I, uh, I went to work on it. Nice. So. Um, we'll transition to your old influence. You as a video part rider, obviously. I think you know we we did one of those favorite rider <laughs> things yep. uh, last week, which will come out. It probably was already out by the time this is out. But okay. Yeah. Um, uh, but you mentioned Van, and then for your old influence, you mentioned Ruben. Yeah. So definitely yeah. one of my biggest influences as well. So let's let's play Ruben's section and forward, which you can already we can't hear the audio, yeah. but you can we can hear the audio. You know what yeah. the audio is when you, <laughs> so, when you see this section. Right? So yeah, I mean this was you know, this was a section for me too. Mon- so. Monumental and, and an iconic part for a lot of people. If, if this watching this didn't motivate and inspire you in some sort of way. Yeah, I've yeah. got half this guy. Shut down the whole system. Yeah, the reason why I'm so in the same band. I 
300 through that girl. I mean, I've seen, it, I've seen it like 300 times, but at a point I'm going to be like, where's that bowl? Where's this? You know? Yeah. Let's do it. Bowl alive, but No. I just I feel like it's like it's just... He still does, he did it. First one to do it, and he did it better than Like, he just did a little no footer, and he did it perfect. Like, everyone else was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Before anybody was doing that, it was so gnarly. And just creative. So. Paul Buchanan. Yeah, yeah. Paul. All right, yeah. All right, baby. I wrote a song. Um, so, you no, know, Ruben, so this is a, as a video part was. Yeah. It's smooth, it's big, it's a tech. Yeah. It's a ramp, it's a ramp, all that stuff. Which I was <laughs> just to go see the Mars, you know, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, we had, we just didn't think it was possible, you know. <laughs> yeah, and on a level of bikes and everything else. Yeah, no, I just I, forgot I, about I, the background like for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, new influence. Definitely a polar opposite of Ruben. Yeah, um, but <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh, personality-wise. Personality, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's the kind of part of the reason I, I like him too, because like I've I've done a few trips with him, been around him, many yeah. contests and stuff. Like Dan Paley's personality is just unbelievable, <laughs> just nonstop laughing. Just the, the stuff that comes it's out insane. of this guy's mouth, that yeah. comes out of his mouth, is r ridiculous. <laughs> so like, I love the guy. Let's go ahead and play Dan's section from uh, <laughs> from Transmission. <laughs> But no, I, I love watching Dan ride, and this is definitely a more modern section that I'm into that uh, inspires me and motivates me to go ride pretty mm -hmm. much on a regular basis. Because um, like yeah. that, even that, that's a dream trick I've been wanting to do, and I know it's been done a few times. But this guy is just like he's all about the big and the tech switch regular. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, and he's smooth. Like he rides ramps, street. Like he's not afraid to go big. You know, I feel like I can relate to a decent amount of stuff that he, he's into. You know? And it, that was so sad. It's like a quantifiable thing for me too because it, in the sense that like sometimes he just looks like he's gonna just get murdered yeah. too. Like that, that crook, unintentional gap crook, you know? Like mm. where he's like barely holding on. I love clips like that. Where he's he's a like, skillful hucker. Like yeah. not hucker, yeah, hucker yeah, but yeah. like skillful sender. Yeah. <laughs> he sends it but like he knows like he's gonna land it. But even, oh, so good. Yeah. So yeah, I can I can watch these parts like all day. Yeah. So if I can watch Ruben and then come and watch Dan and then be ready to go ride. A completely different is it motivation. Like uh in a sense you guys do have similar styles too, because it really is just kind of like setup based mm -hmm. things. <laughs> it is technical, but it's also burly, so it definitely you know, like even that, that background that we had, like that like that flat ledge thing, like the the ice no foot can. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. That was one of the butt so shot, like that yeah. yeah, but that's like that's like one of the you won't ever have like a flat ledge clip in, in an actual yeah. thing, you know? But right. like, whereas like, you know, most people will have some sort of like tech thing in, but when you say, oh yeah, we need a couple of tech things, it was like, no, it's actually <laughs> like death defined things, yeah. just really, really hard as well, you know? So that's a, it. He's thing. on the same. That's why I was saying, like, he's one of the ones that. But it kind of looks like he's just going to die, you know? Yeah, like, like I like it though. He's, like, he's, that's... he's loose, but like, yeah, he's still a skilled rider. Love it. Can watch Dan all day. Yeah. And like I said, just he's an absolute character. Yeah. He's an actual <laughs> monster. He would beat anybody up. Yeah. <laughs> this dude is such a savage. <laughs> there it is again. Oh, man. <laughs> um, you mentioned uh, earlier that you fell hard on a backwards grime for the X Games part. Oh, yeah. But at a point years ago, 
there was something, I think, we, I don't know if you, you must have said it at some point, but then we kind of latched onto it that you had never. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, gosh, surprised it wasn't a double. <laughs> Dude, my allergies are kicking off. It's got to so be, bad usually it's, north, usually it's three. North, huh? Oh, really? Dude, it was bad. Like, I lost complete energy one day, like riding a full session, me and Dennis having fun. And then just like a complete allergy attack, like sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. Mm. And then I was just dead. Like I couldn't even open my eyes. It looked oh. like I was stoned, like <laughs> crazy stone. And then I just like had no energy. Like it was like, but yeah. So anyway, so I was going to go into We that. just changed the filters in the studio. So you're good. That should be, that oh, was sweet. just a yeah. fluke. Yeah. Okay, so cool. you're all right. I can breathe in that. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's the cat hair flying off of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Continue. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No worries. No worries. Uh, at some point, I think you mentioned that you had never not gotten on a backwards grind on a on down a rail um, like you would never miss pegs on a on a backwards grind um uh, a few i've only missed back peg a few times yeah okay it must yeah. have been must have been in the first co last couple of years then because i think that was probably yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean because like yeah I, i've you know back in the day obviously learning them you know yeah but like yeah for, like for once the you... most part like I try to make sure, like, I aim, like, when I'm looking at a rail, like, going into a backwards grind, I aim for, for where I think my back peg is going to get on, mm -hmm. and then that's kind of, like, I lock, lock eye it. contact yeah. and make sure that one, you know, because generally, like, I'll know by the time my back peg's coming around if my front wheel's going to get on or not, you yeah, know, like, yeah. The, yeah. Like if it's going to hit the rail or if it's going to go over crook or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you kind of have a good judgment. Um, but, no, the backwards grind that <laughs> I ate it on in uh, Nashville, filming with Pete, was... Um, man, you could probably pull it up actually. The rail, it's the one that Van did. I want to say one of his fit parts he did over grind at the courthouse is like a rail but next to the wall. Mm -hmm. And so, same one that Randy Taylor did the whip. Oh, uh, okay. Down the stair set, and yeah. Kareem did three over the rail. I think. Yeah. yeah. And so that's, that stair set, that yeah, rail, that rail oh, on oh, the wow. wall. Okay. So Van yeah, did yeah, yeah. Van did over grind next to the wall. Yeah. Um, I don't know what part that was in some section, but. Anyway, I tried to do backwards grind on that, which I, knew, I know I could do easily. Like I was like, it was scary, mm -hmm. you know, big rail. Um, but then I looked at this one little thing at the top. So there's the rail, and then there's a wall next to it. There's a little bit of a ridge that comes like this, you know. Mm -hmm. So when the bike is on the rail, if you're completely straight on the, the rail, you're fine. You're going to go right past the little ridge. But if you lean in a little bit the the handlebar is going to hit the inside mm. of that ridge and then it's beveled so like when you hit that it's going to push your yeah. handlebar off yeah and so i, I kind of had that in my mind is this is a possibility you know dude yeah it happened so i went straight into it fully committed and pushed my handlebars off the rail so i just went into like a floating backwards lucky yeah. grind and just went straight all the way down to the bottom and just like just straight down to the ground and missed mm. missed the whole thing so i was bummed I, like got up bum mad you know yeah and then it's like all right i gotta do this this is the first like big thing i'm for, trying to yeah, do yeah. for this video part you know and so i tried again that gum this thing happened same thing happened again i was like all right i'm over this yeah so, gotta call oh it. actually i take that back the first one i got out i got out of so luckily actually i went to like the splits over the rail in between the rail and got out of it but i still crashed into yeah. the stair and then the second time, I was like, all right, surely this won't happen again. There's no way this is going to happen again. And then that's... Dude, the, yeah. the same exact thing happened. Hit the bevel, push my bars up, and that, and that's when, like, I try to hang on to it just to see if I could catch, you know, pedal or something and yeah, ride yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, um, And then I just missed everything and just hit straight on the ground. And, like, yeah, it hit the top of my hand again like that. Just Yeah. And so that was a good start, kind of, not really to off, the right? trip. Yeah, yeah so like, off, well, right? at least I, I sent it and, yeah, see what happens. But Well, despite that, I think... If you did have one trick that you were known for, I think it would be the backwards grind. <laughs> so that's why I asked you for your top three, top three favorites of all time. Not necessarily the greatest, the right, best, right. anything like that, but ones that, that you're into. Ones so. that I'm into that I, I'm like a huge fan of for yeah. sure. Yeah. And uh, so, so we'll go and play oh, number yeah, one. And I, I didn't know what. Yeah. Turbo. Turbo is definitely Uh, I lived in, in the right there. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, sure. wait, hold on. Don't, don't go too far yet. Yeah, sorry. Um, so, Sherbo. So, so, so that, the reason why that one, like, it means so much to me is because I, I was there. I lived it. Yeah. Uh, we, had, we had, I think they called the Pico Rails or something like that in Philly. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was spending a lot of time in Philly. And um, we were sessioning these rails all the time. 
and Bob was just like talking about backwards ice picking, right? And I was just thinking, you know what I mean? Me and yeah. Wiz, and Wiz has talked about it too, I'm sure, you know what I mean? We were all kind of into backwards grinds at the time. And I had never even heard of such a thing. I was like, yeah, right. Yeah. Dude, and he just did it. He just did it. And I was like, no, you didn't just do it. You know, I was like, so that was, we were all just blown away by How that. How was it hanging out with those? Because those, I mean, Bob especially back then, back then. Was, was so polar opposite from you back then. As yeah, I well. would looking back at it as I don't know how those guys hung out with me. Like, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> some like yeah, some kooky Alabama kid that had no clue about anything in life. <laughs> just just knew he liked riding bikes. So, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, they hung out with me for some reason. Put up with you. Yeah. All, um, all my weird Alabama. Slang. And those were that was two NBDs, I assume, right? The backwards ice down the rail, and then the, the then, ice yeah, kicker. Yeah, yeah. So that was. So that, that, that meant a lot, because at that time but... we were hanging out together all the time, so we were like feeding off each other riding, yeah. you know, and, and we had talked about all kinds of Because that was the same time when you grabbed a couple of clips at the kink rail too, right? You had a few, uh, had a few gnarly ones over the years, uh, Possibly, right? if yeah. that was like, yeah. It could have been, like, we, we used to do several trips. Every, yeah. like, October, almost right before winter, we would drive and go check out that rail, because yeah. it's an iconic rail. Understandable. Uh, but no, Bob Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> you can see me. I was just like, yeah. "What? It just worked." <laughs> Look. Oh yeah, the hand like, did come up. Yeah, that's funny. That probably is you. Um, number two was I think Rob Wise, and these are in no yeah. order, I assume, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is like, he had like, oh. a, little, he had like a little montage of backwards stuff. So this is Which I'm gonna go ahead and say, congratulations to this guy, second place for the X yeah. Games, dude. Yeah. He he deserved every bit yeah, of it. He definitely deserved and it. And one of the young kids that it inspires me on a regular basis, man. Like that right there is a trick I would have dreamed of doing, and then just to see it come through like that is just phenomenal. And then just to you know throw the bar. You in can for, tell. For Look extra how. Gold. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Look, you can tell how stoked he is, and like, like he fought for that, and it's like I can feel it, and it's like. Being a fan of backwards run, that's one of the most creative backwards setups yeah. I've, I've seen to date, for sure. <clears throat> I will say, going along those lines, it was a toss-up between Dan Crook with the the pegs, hard 180 backwards grind to cab toboggan. Like mm -hmm. that was that was a sick one. But I feel like that one. Or I feel like I feel like that one. What Colin did opened it up for yes, Dan yep, a little bit yep, as well. Definitely. So I think that's one. I think that is just so yeah, quick. I think you, I think you chose right. I think you chose right. <laughs> Um, Christian, oh, his second comment, uh, how your first mountain biking experience was. You could look at his hands and tell that. Excellent. Yeah. Yep. I was initiated into the club. Uh, fuck underscore Alex says crank flips or pull up bars. Ha ha. Ha ha, gosh. I mean, you could say neither. Uh, or... Man, I would definitely go with crank flips. Because I was part of that era still, That's too. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was in the crank flip zone for a little bit. <laughs> kick, oh, this is... Kick flip or crank flip. Uh, Ryan Mills asked a question. What? Yeah. Yeah, right. Dead Ender 23 
asks, how on earth are you still pushing the li limits of BMX for so long? Always seem to thoroughly impress me with everything I see of you each time something drops. I mean, that's a that's a that's an <coughs> honest question right. because I mean, just as as you said earlier, you're 35. You're obviously better than fucking ever. You got X. I mean, it's on the yeah. Know, I like, mean, like I don't, I don't know, man. Like I. I don't know how, I, I pretty much just like, I'm... I mean, do you feel better than ever? Do you feel more healthy? Do you feel better on your bike? Do you I, I'm feel, not gonna you lie. I, I, you know, when people are talking, like, how, how do you like keep up with this and that? And like, how do you feel every day? Stuff yeah. like, dude, I, I hurt every day. My body <laughs> hates me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> dude. I push through some of the, the, the awkwardest pain is just because I love BMX. Yeah. And, and the, yeah. it's been my passion. It's like, it's all I've done. It's all I know since a kid. So it's like... I don't know. You learn to push through it. You know what I mean. And then obviously I'm I'm kind of big into health and fitness stuff, so that yeah. plays a big part of it. I do a lot of yoga stuff, and it's like, I if, as long as I stay on top of that and like my body feels okay and take care of it, I'm I'm just want to ride my bike and continue to push myself when I can in the areas that I can. You know, I'm like I don't feel like I'm I'm here to prove a point or you know in, in any way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like not a conscious thing I, by any means. Yeah. Right. That I I deserve this or that. It's like. I truly just enjoy riding my bike, and yeah. it's like if I get something from it, I do. If I progress, I, that's a bonus, you know. And, I, and that's ultimately what keeps me going is just progressing, just like anything that you're working towards. It's like you'd love this that satisfaction of rolling away from something you thought of. Like it's just you can't well, traveling that. across <laughs> the world with one trick in your mind and just going straight to it yeah. right away. It's like <laughs> yeah, that's that's the the shit that most people don't necessarily get to experience. So yeah. it's, it's cool that it's still. Yeah, I asked Jeff earlier. I was like, "Who do you think has the most video parts in BMX?" And he said Sherbo, but Sherbo. Yeah, that's he, but I mean, he, he would know. I he, guess from back then, I wouldn't have like. He said he's had like twenty parts, and I was like, "Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna still go with Dak." Dak, Maybe, yeah. I think Dak has had the most video parts than anybody. Yeah, like if you if you count the Native Land stuff, dude. Yeah. Like he he goes in for those too. Yeah. So. So I mean I think that, like you said before, that's a fine line of like what's parts and what's not. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Um. And sh shout out to Ryan Mills. Ryan for, Mills. Yes. For for good looks, man. You're you're killing it. Two years sober. That's awesome. That's. Congrats, buddy. Yeah. Uh, let me find another. How do you stay motivated? We just just did this. Why are you such a boss? Self-employed. Uh. We talked about that. Oh my God. All right, how about Scott Hino N? Hino Nen? Uh, Scott Hino Nen. What's your favorite video part you filmed? That I filmed? Yeah. My personal favorite yeah. video part? Like what's your, sa is that like the salad days, trafilio? Is that, uh, how do you, I've never even heard anybody say that out loud. The word? Yeah. The federal trafilio. Yeah, trafilio. <laughs> trafilio. It's, it's, it's Welsh for travel. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Learn something new. <laughs> Boss man Ian Morris. There you go. <laughs> um, is that, I mean, like, is it a video part like that? Is something like what? That's, I was, well, yeah. as soon as he said that, that was my first one. That's okay. kind of what I go to. It's like. Um, square one was a good one for me because that was my first actual video part. Um, but when it comes to like motivation and next level progression for myself, I would say federal trafilio because mm -hmm. I, I had the opportunity of traveling a lot more for that, like overseas and things like that. So it's like um, a, a an eye opening dude, it, experience. It, I'm sure. it opened up yeah. so much to me with like like creative like riding. So you learned how to say travel in Welsh. At the time, I didn't. Yeah. But now, <laughs> I had no idea how to say travel in English back then. <laughs> um, but no, I um, I would say my federal trafilio part is probably one of my favorites, just because I traveled a lot with all of this, and then um, yeah, the setups I got to ride were unbelievable. So it's like opened up my eyes to new territory with riding for sure, creative riding. So that's gonna be it. For that's a, that's a solid answer. <clears throat> I was, I'm not gonna lie, and it's probably one of my favorite songs too. Like I, I got a lot song of songs. Song is good. I like it. It's a, yeah. you know what I mean. The yeah. the, the, the acoustic Spanish like uh, mm -hmm. Jesse Cook vibe, and funny enough, how I found that song was a Metro Jam. I want to say one of the Metro Jams, and went to the mall to go get some food. And I was walking by the CD store, and yeah, CD store. <laughs> <laughs> CD store. And Is that next to the Blockbuster? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> One stop shop. <laughs> and uh, I heard this uh, the song playing and I went in and just asked the girl at the desk, hey, what song is this? I'd like to get the CD, whatever. So I bought it and then went to Big Ed 
and it's like, yo, how's this song? This sound? is the one. Yeah, like I like this. Does it fit? And yeah, went back and forth a couple of times, and he like made it work. And that so. was before you had to worry about getting sued. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No rights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the good days. Um, I kind of like this one too. So, which one would you rather answer about? No oh dear. Being hurt and how it affected your writing, or your scariest clip that you have ever done. Which one you could choose one? Hmm. Make it quick. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Scariest clip. Okay, that's Let's it. Let's do All that. Right, well, yeah. we'll do Andres Andres Ochoa thirty along. Uh, he, I think he may have used Google Translate for this one. So. Uh -oh. uh, it says, along of your BMX life, I've seen a lot of big bangers pulled for you. In your opinion, what has been your scariest clip trick you have, that you have ever done? So it's definitely a Google Translate, but I shout out to Put, Andres for, for making it happen. You so, made it, did it? Yeah. So uh, is this like scariest clip that you I crashed think, and pulled or crashed? And I think it's just, like just outright away. scariest where you were like... Scared, scared. Yeah, you were the Mike um, Brennan puckered up status. I don't, I don't do a whole lot of scary stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, I have my moments, but like, <laughs> so it's like, I'm, when I'm you're when confident, I'm, I guess is what. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I go into it knowing that there's a risk, yeah. but like, I'm not like ever like, you know what I mean? Just gonna pass out, kind of scared. The one, the you're one not like. The, the roll the dice. The only thing I have definitely rolled the dice on the two clips I guess recently that are fresh is the the grind the pegs gap to flat in the X game. Yeah, because you don't know what's gonna. Happen. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's yeah. the one of the biggest yeah. drops I've ever done too. So yeah, I was, so it's like that was a kind did of. Did like you lower a scary, the PSI? You're like, was, nah, I'm running low PSI, baby. <laughs> I stay low. <laughs> so that was the one of the the biggest like scarier clips and, and tricks that I've tried in, yeah. in a while. So that's the most recent one, uh, biggest drop. I didn't know what was gonna happen. And then the downside pegs on the on the seawall, like that was a scary one. Like uh, you can all time. You still? I mean, that's awesome. Dude, I like I'm not, no, I'm not like I said, it, like I, like a lot of the stuff. Yeah. Like I don't have like crazy scary stuff in all my. I've done like some backwards grinds that are difficult and kind of scary, you know, backwards crooks and that. But I don't do. I don't jump off buildings that much. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy like Tom Dugan need, or something. You, need you know, to step like, your shit up, dude. You need to jump off a building hey, or something. Man, I'm trying to. I'm trying you know, to. At this, I'm tr I'm trying at this to point, it's all about longevity. <laughs> So um, I, I compete against myself with longevity now. Uh, I ain't trying to jump off buildings. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Damn, they really put in a lot of no, questions. Rodeo, huh? Rodeo Pina I knew it. I knew actually it commented from Rodeo Pina. Here we so go. So did you purposely ABD Corey Walsh because he has the same first name as you? Of course I did. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. shit. Of course. Yeah. Um, I think... I'm just gonna ask a question because, well, I'll go back up to the top. It said Jordy, Jordy G193. I initially skipped it, but uh, he says, "Is Adidas hooking you up?" Mm. And then, and then a two part from that, I think, is like a lot of times when I think I'm, I'm making a statement for you. I'm not okay. really asking go a question, ahead. but like when you you don't have the Red Bull logo on the beanie anymore, like you're wearing Adidas. And you were kind of like a legacy rider for both of the Edneys and, and Red Bull. When usually, when a normal person or a, a other people that I can think of lose sponsors like that, they're kind of like they kind of move on too. But like mm. you're still doing it. So one from Jordy is Adidas hooking you up. Two, like is that was there ever like a, a low point after kind of that stuff, or did you just feel like ah oh, fuck it and just keep going? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, yeah. Um... I am fortunate enough, yes, Jordy, to have a hookup um, with the Adidas program. Um, definitely helps me out. Yeah, after the whole Etnies thing kind of ended, which, you know, was very unfortunate, but st stuff happens. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like budget crunches, this and that. So that, that stuff happens. And so... Pol Polva's over the Etnies TM. Yeah. Or Etnies TM for now. Uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to cut that part out. Uh, Pova, the Etnies TM, always told me that when he would bring people on at knees he's he would say some something to the effect of like hey this is you know i'm psyched to have you on the team you know this is going to be awesome but one day it will end you know yeah. like and, and i don't know if he actually said that but that's what he said that he told people you know and he would just kind of always put that in people's mind because 
there's very few BMXers. You don't ride for brands no. for life. Like, no, that's, no not, that's not that's a, not really not a lifelong possible. ride. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not. So. Yeah, it's it's inevitable that the, the stuff's going to end eventually. You can't, yeah, yeah. You can't just free ride all the time, you know, for life. So, yeah, I knew that going into it. Pova's hooked me up for years after the whole, you know, Airwalk Orchid things. In between and all yeah. that stuff, Pova was always there hooking me up. So, yeah. like, you know what I mean? He had my back no, all the time. So there's, you know what I mean? No beef for anything yeah, with all still that. Love like, Pova. Yeah, love yeah. Pova was my, yeah. my dude. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he, he hooks me up all the time with like let me stay, whatever. We hang out, cruise, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah um, but I was still in my mind in the place is like I kind of feel like I can represent something and go somewhere still a little bit. And so I had an opportunity with Adidas program. So mm -hmm. like why not get my foot in the door when nobody else really has? And so you know what I mean and see what comes from it. Um, and yeah, so I'm very fortunate enough to have that plug right now. Cool. Um, and then the other part is what are you saying about? Uh, just in the sense of like after oh, like the Red Bull stuff and stuff because that I think yeah. that was that was a little bit dirty I think but I don't yeah. know if we the, want to the, get into the, it. I too mean the much, Etnies but. thing that was was cool. It was like it was fine. Like you know, Boba had to do what he had to do, and yeah. so it's fine. Like I, I let it go. Like I'm not the type of person like I'm gonna bash somebody because of this that like any type of like sponsor loss or anything. Like, I've always kind of been like low key about it, like under yeah wraps. So I don't really like want to. People. Let people figure it out. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. still to this day, people don't even, what, you don't ride for Etnies? <laughs> you don't ride for Red Bull? And it's been like a couple years now. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. This will be almost three years for Etnies and then like almost two years for Red Bull. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, I don't know. Just kind of, for me, I like to ride my bike, so I'm going to move forward riding my bike and support the people that want to support me. You That's know? what's up. All right. So. Cool. <laughs> thank you, for, uh, thank you, Jordy, for uh, being the spark for that one. Um, uh, let's see if we have any... <laughs> this dude's like an hour late with this question. He says, do you plan on replicating the upper L of Bubica to fake you down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dropped X, it about, X, uh, X Games real yeah, about three hours ago. <laughs> and it's so fun. So many people have been bringing up the brakes over the past like four months. You know what I mean? Like yeah. four or five months of me just randomly here and there posting, uh, posting stuff up on social media. Bring the brakes back. Bring the brakes back. So like I've been itching for people to see like this last clip. Like, there you go. Go watch this. I got a brake clip for you. Finally. Um, let me see if there's anything else. And I'll make this the uh, wrong one. Uh, <laughs> all right. We got three more questions in. There we Said, go. Uh, Ditch Matt, my boy Ditch Matt. Maybe your what boy up, too. Ditch? Yeah. Uh, about that overpegs in Barcelona, which I feel like we've talked about for like a half hour in this, <laughs> but uh, were you towed in or by a motorcycle or a car? Or did you pedal that bitch like a man? <laughs> Your boy just pedaled. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much. Um, Brant underscore more. Uh, he said, he asked if you uh, want a, a brand new pair of your orchid signature shoes, and he says that's a real question. So oh, that's you, a real question. Yeah. Are, are they? The, I have the camo ones. What? Well, I mean, what are we talking I mean, about? The burgundy black ones? Yeah, like, all you can get out of them. Either the, way, you yeah, can get out of them yeah. in the comments hit, if you really hit me up. Slide in my DMs about that because <laughs> I do. I do need a copy or like a pair of extra ones from back then. And then the last question says, uh, "Is Reed Stark you scared? You scared stiff?" Asks, "How do you become immortal?" Immortal. <laughs> Organic ranch raw, dressing. Raw, raw superfoods. There you go. Perfect. Shout All right. Out, shout out to the boys at Raw. <laughs> I think uh, that'll do it. That's Thank it. you, sir. Yeah, that's not so painful, Killed right? Killed it. Yeah. Good job. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for being here, dude. Dude, this is good. Yeah, appreciate you having me. It was fun. Yeah. I love to try and discuss some of this stuff. Yeah, any time people have questions, like whatever. Let's Slide in the DMs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who we got next on the show. So we'll, oh, okay. uh, somebody... Uh, Somebody people, fantastic, people like out. a oh. big, a big personality and a really entertaining person, oh, a great bike rider. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. Super so. great looking. Yeah. Handsome. Yeah. Handsome. Yeah. Sweet one. Thank you, dude. Yeah.